Hello everyone, Elle here with yet another Project Pan finale. This is the finale for my Project 10 Pan Roulette, which was a collab with Lauren May Beauty and Heather from Love Heatherette. I will have their channels and everything linked down below in my description box, so please do go and check them out if you haven't already. They are fantastic people. Um, so it's been a while since my last update, unfortunately. Um, so to recap, I've already finished five out of my 10 products. So from previous updates, I finished an eye product, which was the Dior Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara. I finished something for my favorite brand, which was the MAC Studio Water Weight Foundation in NW13. The third thing was something I had already hit pan on, and that was the Becca Under Eye Corrector. The fourth thing was something black, and that was the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. Liner. And the fifth thing was a foundation, and that was the Dior Nude Air Serum Foundation. So that's not too shabby. <laughs> so let's talk about some more finished products. So for the category colored lip product, I chose the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in Berry, and this is a deluxe size lip balm. And as I previously alluded to, I finished this guy. I threw it in my purse to use at work when I didn't want to reapply lipstick. For those of you who don't know, I am doing a lipstick roulette, which is where I'm randomly drawing my lipsticks to try them and, and use them if you're what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. And sometimes I end up bringing something with me to work that does not work very well. Or sometimes I just don't want to keep on reapplying something and I'll just need a little bit of moisture. So that's how I ended up finishing this guy up. It's just a little tint of color, nothing crazy, so it just works pretty much with everything. I really do love these fresh sugar lip treatments. They're my favorite lip balms. I have a few more deluxe sizes, so you'll probably see me panning them sometime down the road. The next category was something pink, and I had the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in Paradise Pink. So I used this a couple of times after my last update, and then I just could not get enough pigment from it. When you have a liquid liner that you don't get a lot of pigment from, like it's really difficult to use. So like you can see how sheer and light it is, and to try and use that as a liner, it was just an uphill battle. I struggle enough as it is with liquid liner. I need something that's really pigmented and it's not going to skip and it's not going to be patchy because um, it's really, really hard to fix that when you're drawing your kind of straight line and all of a sudden it gives out partway through. It's really just not fun to use anymore. So I'm considering this finished. And the last three products I did not finish, um, this Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. This came from the category product hyped up on YouTube. I always see people raving about this and recommending it. And it's just so, so for me. I really don't know if it's user error or not. Um, I'm still learning when it comes to using some of these products. I did use it today for some glitter and it held okay, but I'm still experiencing a lot and lots of fallout. So it's not a miracle product to me. I don't know, so many people who I heard and saw raving about this were saying how it just like keeps your glitter on your lids and very minimal fallout. And I just haven't had that kind of luck. So maybe I just really need to keep playing with it or maybe it's just a product that is not suitable for me. I just really feel like at this point it's kind of hopeless, but I don't want to go and try and buy a whole bunch of other glitter glue and glitter adhesive things when I have something that I can play around with. It does keep me from wearing glitter that often because I don't want to go out with glitter on that looks good and a couple hours later have glitter all over my face. I have done that, just not very recently. So for favorite color, I had chosen Max Blush in Melba. This is the product that will never die. Large powder products I find really difficult to pan. Something like blush, it's really hard for me to even hit pan on these days because I have so many and I rotate between them. I was never a blush person and then when I had just like one, two blushes that I was using a lot, uh, it was pretty easy to hit pan on. But I rotate through things. Like I just can't use the same blush every day because sometimes it just does not go with what you want to create, um, at least in my opinion. Maybe maybe other people do that, they have their one or two blushes and they wear it with every single eye look they do, but I just find that sometimes I want something different. So I am wearing a little bit of this today. 
because I love this blush. So I will reach for this um, as a default. If I don't know what to do or if I'm doing sort of a very warm eye look, this is like a go-to blush because it's so incredibly flattering. And the last category was something purple. I had this little pigment from Annabelle. This is the pigment Dust in Violet Vibe. Very pretty, but I only wore it once since my last update. I just can't get myself motivated to work with pigments first thing in the morning. It's so much easier just to deal with my pressed powder eyeshadows and that sort of stuff. Things that I don't have to like mix and deal with fallout and yeah so I, I just couldn't be bothered to wear this on the daily and when it comes to filming I just follow my heart so to speak so I only got one use out of that. It was a product I just sort of threw in here because I really wasn't sure what else to pick for purple so I'm not really surprised that I didn't make a lot of progress on it. I mean it's so pretty but I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep keep it because for those odd time I would use it. It's worth having. Um, if I've already paid the money for it, if I already own it, like what's the harm in keeping it? If I do like the product, you know, I might get minimal use out of it. So that's still good enough for me. All right, so that is everything. And this was a pretty quick finale. I have been trying to keep my videos a little bit more on the short and sweet side. I struggle with that, but let me know if you guys prefer the shorter videos. I'm just trying to not ramble as much. Um, so anyway, with this project, I finished seven. Seven out of the 10 products, I think that is really, really good. Like I'm very impressed and very happy with that. I had a lot going on, so I'm surprised that I finished anything. And to finish seven out of 10, I mean, that's good. And to have the other three products that I can still work away on, I don't feel like I failed. I really feel like I won. And I really love roulette projects. As you will probably see them all over my channel, I'm obsessed with them. There's just something about the element of surprise and, and randomness that I really respond to. So I will definitely, definitely be doing a more Project Pan Roulettes in the future. Probably another Project 10 Pan Roulette, um, but it won't be for another few months yet because I'm rotating through some of my stuff with my makeup basket and, and my collection. Um, but once I get that a little bit more settled and I have some more things to choose from and I feel like I can properly pan things without neglecting what I have, I will be doing more Project Pans, specifically a Project Pan Roulette. So don't worry about that. There will be more in the future. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. You are truly the best and I really hope I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.